Hey guys, it's Serge. So today I'm gonna go over a simple question. Can you game on the Mac? What's it like gaming on the Mac? If you try to talk to people about Mac gaming, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get laughed at. And most of the reasons for that has to do with uh, Macs just not being optimized for gaming. Uh, can you game on them? The answer is yes, and you can actually do a pretty good job. The thing is, most people's uh, preconceptions about Macs and, what, and how they think about them is completely different. They think about Macs as for work. Most Macs can game. It's actually a bit tricky though because you want to pick the right type of model. If you have a MacBook, uh, you're going to want to have a MacBook Pro because the integrated graphics on there are going to be the strongest. Uh, if you're coming from an iMac, you want at least a 27 inch iMac because that's going to give you the stronger components that will allow you to play games. And then the other option is going to be either the Mac Mini uh, or the Mac Pro. The Mac Mini is going to play pretty much like a MacBook Air, so it's not going to be the greatest, but you're looking at running games pretty much on all low. If you grab yourself a Mac Pro, you can play most games on high graphics. And same thing if you grab an iMac. Now, we're gonna talk about the iMac today because this is the model you're gonna get if you're gonna be playing games. Right here we have the 5K 27 inch iMac. This has a 395X graphics card. I also upped the CPU and gave it a little bit more RAM because I felt like if you were gonna be gaming on that iMac, this is the configuration that you would get. So when you first launch the App Store and take a look around, you're gonna see some old titles, but you're really not gonna see a whole lot of new stuff on the Mac Store here. Go ahead and grab an emulator like the Game Boy Advanced or Nintendo 64, GameCube, or even PlayStation 2 emulators, and you can actually have a pretty good time playing games on the iMac. But I wanted to know how good was the support for systems like Origin and Steam. Well, right out of the box, Steam is gonna play pretty much more than half of your games. Uh, really just depends on which games you have, but if you have older titles like source-based games or titles that are fairly popular, there is a chance that they are gonna be supported on Mac. Now, the real question is, how much of a gamer are you? Because if you are a serious gamer, you actually wanna install Boot Camp. Go ahead and search for Boot Camp within the menu system. Once that pops open, you can actually follow the prompts here and install Windows quite easily. If you wanted more information on how to do that, I'll have a link uh, right over here in the card and then an annotation at the bottom here if you want to click on it. Installing Windows is the way you want to go if you want to play games on your iMac. There's a lot of good reasons why you'd pick an iMac, and you probably already know those reasons. I really like the idea of having a nice, sleek, form factor machine uh, that is an all-in-one system, so there's not a lot of wires. As you can see, it's very clean. It's a nice setup, and I like having my speakers integrated uh, just so I have as much room on the table as possible. But again, the question is, can you game on this iMac? Let's take a look at some of the most popular titles and see how well they play. If you're running GTA, you can tell that Grand Theft Auto can run at 2K resolution, close to max, with about 50 FPS. That's really impressive. The 2014 model actually didn't run very good, hardly play most games due to the throttling issue. Drop the resolution down to 1080p and you're gonna be getting around 50 to 60 FPS. And again, you have all the eye candy turned up, the long shadows, the really high textures. This game looks great and runs very, very smooth. Next game up is gonna be Battlefield 4. Now you can join a 64 player server, play with 1080p graphics, even at 2K res on ultra graphics and still enjoy the game. So when people say Macs suck for gaming, well, the majority of them do, but you can retrofit a Mac to run games correctly depending on which configuration you get. What you really want in this particular scenario is just realistic expectations. If you have a MacBook Pro, you're running on integrated graphics, so you can't expect a whole lot, but you can run most games on low to medium at uh, 1280 by 800, and that's pretty good for most people. So Macs really aren't that bad for gaming. Same goes if you have a Mac Mini. And if you have a 21 inch iMac, there's a pretty good chance you can also game on low to medium. But again, if you want to game on high graphics with high resolutions, you're gonna want an iMac with an upgraded graphics card or a Mac Pro. Now, don't get me wrong, a Mac Pro definitely isn't what you wanna do on a game and have a nice system. An iMac over here is gonna be a lot more uh, cost friendly for you. But then again, if you really care about gaming, you should probably build yourself a gaming PC. 
because a gaming PC is gonna give you the upgrade ability. When a new game comes out in a couple years, you're really not gonna be able to keep up and you're gonna to want to upgrade. So my best advice is if gaming is important for you, get yourself a gaming PC. But if you like the way the iMacs are designed and you like the way they work, definitely pick yourself up an iMac 5K If you have any questions at all about MacBook gaming or iMac or Mac gaming, any question whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below because I have been using these Apple products for quite some time. So I feel like I can give you a lot of very useful information. Now, I got a question for you though. Uh, what kind of gaming systems do you have? Do you have a console? Have you built yourself a gaming computer? Why exactly are you considering uh, an iMac?